perfectly clear sky, it's going to be a good morning for a launch. Here. <laughs> it's going to be loud AF right over here, boy. Clean ground, no trees to break up the sound. It's going to be a loud day. Here we go. They're going to have to call it off, they said. Ah, this is terrible, man. Look at this. Uh, okay, is this us? Rocket Ranch, here it is. We got Border Patrol out here. Let's see if it's. Let's see if it's uh, U.S. or Mexico. We're citizens. Yeah, it's Mexico. Okay, well, good morning, all. Welcome to our uh, illustrious uh, camping accommodations here. Adrian's off over there in the distance in his tent. <laughs> yeah, pretty big scoot, anyway. I don't remember. Oh, his scoot's over there behind his tent, I think. Anyway, uh, this is our stealth camping arrangement. We're uh, in an abandoned lot behind a uh, Stripes gas station right over there. <laughs> this is like a, a little uh, utility road. Uh, it's a concrete you know, pad. Looks like it's going to be a proper road at one point, but it's, uh, it's all cordoned off right now. And we decided uh, we were tired. It was dark. We weren't going to go searching for anything. And uh, this is our uh, stealth camp for the night. Not really stealthy, but... Hey, at least we're off the road and we're not paying for anything, so that's how it is. Set up our tents. Uh, I didn't put the rain fly on. Uh, Josh didn't put his on because that just makes us more visible because the rain flies are kind of a bright color, so we decided against that. Put the bikes over here behind a little thicket of uh, <laughs> weeds and bushes to act as kind of a uh, uh, visibility uh, cloak. <laughs> Good stuff. Now we got to break camp and uh, start heading over to uh, the South Padre Island side. Uh, this road right over here that we just came in on, that uh, leads us back to Boca Chica. So uh, we just stopped where we were last night at that intersection across the street in the gravel lot. And Adrian came over here and he went, hey, I found home for tonight. <laughs> anyway, we're going to break camp and get the hell out of here. See, diddly, it is so humid out here, man. I mean, 100% humidity. You, you blocked my screen off and it needs it again. I know. It's, uh, my, I, I cleaned my mirrors off and my gauge face and everything right before we uh, got on the bikes and they're already fully fogged again. I got four bars, so we should be good. I can't see how many bars I have because it's all fogged up. Yeah, I'm half tank. Four, five, five, four, five, five bars. Perfectly clear sky, it's going to be a good morning for a launch. Okay. I said perfectly clear sky, it's going to be a good morning for a launch. Oh, it, 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 yeah, it, it, yeah. You got people parking on the side of the road, yeah. I'm wondering if this might not be the best, uh, best vantage point right out here. Just flat ground over the water. I don't know, we'll see what it looks like over in South Padre, but man, this is ideal right here. Yeah, man, right out here, I'll bet it's going to be just a phenomenal vantage point. I wish I had fancy camera gear, you know, a good uh, zoom camera, 4K full frame or something like that, and uh, a good tripod with a smooth motion head on it so I could pan smoothly, but I'm going to be uh, using cell phone for this. <laughs> I've got a tripod for it. I don't think we're going to get into that park, but we can try. Uh, it's up to you, man. We might just want to find a good spot right out here and park it. It's too bad we don't have chairs. This is nothing like it was. Uh... Well, this is a real launch. This isn't just an engine test. Yeah, I think we might just want to find a spot right out in here. Let's, let's get a good uh, elevation. Watch out ahead of you. Okay, stop it. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, let, let's let's head up here. I mean, we got a little bit of time. Okay. It'll be a shit show up there, I think. But yeah. I don't know how. Yeah, I guess we can come back. Well, I've been looking ETA, for. Yeah, I think it's going to be. I thought I saw something about eight o'clock. So. Yeah. Uh, I've been looking for turnarounds in the median, and there aren't very many of them, so I don't know uh, if we're going to be able to get back on this side. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, we could do it. Yeah. There's a lot of scrub right here, though. We need to get a clean vantage point of the ground to the horizon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this shit right here. <laughs> it's going to be loud AF right over here, boy. Clean ground, no trees to break up the sound. It's going to be a loud. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, like at the top of this bridge, right where these people are. They got the right idea. Hell yeah. All right, everybody. Here we are. We're on the side of the highway. I've got the camera zoomed up at about 10 power zoom right now. If I touch it, I'm gonna screw it all up. But I'm at, uh, what, 20, about 20 zoom. That's 20 zoom right there. Let's see if I can gently coerce it. We're about two and a half miles away, and that is the launch platform right there. She's gonna light up. Uh, the countdown says about 25 minutes right now to uh, launch. So, here we go. All right, everybody. Well, we're out here waiting. It was about uh, T minus five, and we just heard an update that we think the launch is scrubbed for this, this morning. We don't know about uh, maybe later this morning or tomorrow or what, but there's a pressure valve. I yeah, suppose I can start recording. Nice. There's, there's a uh, pressure valve that's not working properly, so if it doesn't free up, then they're not going. They're listening to feeds on their phones and all that. We're over here standing in the weeds. I got my phone set up and uh, got a pretty good zoom. That's 10 power zoom. You can't see it in the GoPro, I'm sure, but it's uh, straight across the water over there, about two and a half, three miles, something like that. Uh, this zoom up is pretty crispy. I like it. That would be epic to capture that in 4K right there. Okay, so we got 40 seconds to the official launch time or official ignition time i guess but uh, we don't think it's going to happen we're gonna, ready to find out way over there Doink. what's that Are they showing a count? Yeah, it's paused. paused. Okay. Well, paused is better than scrubbed. Pretty sure that's scrubbed. Yeah. The grid is taken out. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to have to call it off, they said. Recently just joined us. We unfortunately had a hold on the countdown today, uh, and that is going to scrub our launch attempt. But uh, we are expecting a minimum of 48 hours in order to recycle. So be 48 sure to hours. on our social channels. And we'll share information as soon as it becomes available. Until then, stay safe. We'll Them is the brakes. So 48 hours. That means uh, we either figure out if we want to stay down here for two days camping, goofing off, or uh, skip it. Hmm. Call Neil. Get him down here. Hey! <laughs> there's a thought. Neil's got time to make it down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, the launch was a scrub, and uh, we're headed back into town over here. We're going to find somewhere to sit down regroup, goof off for a little while, and figure out if we want to stay for a two-day or three-day reset uh, for Starship, which is just across the water over there. You probably can't see it in this camera. I might be able to zoom that up. Anywho, got all set up to record video and live stream and do all that, and then we heard that it was uh, scrubbed due to a pressure issue, some kind of a fueling problem or something in the rocket. So uh, I guess they have to be... Uh, very careful, err on the side of caution <laughs> instead of the, letting that thing go boom. So, uh, you lead the way, Adrian. I don't know uh, where we want to go. Yeah, I don't either. Just watch out for the gravel. Yeah, we fill up. Uh, that one guy said uh, there's a 
a Walmart down the road, so if we want to... Yeah, that's kind of the direction I want to hit. Okay. If we find a harbor freight around here anywhere, I'm going to grab a little set of uh, Allen wrenches. I forgot to throw mine in my okay. under seat kit. I'm going to reset these bars. They're just driving me batshit. That's Murphy. Walmart's got to be... Walmart. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, we just I just missed the entrance. So. Okay, I'm taking a ride. I'll meet you at Walmart. Okay, I'm going to get in here. All right. Well, welcome back to our afternoon in progress. We've been uh, hanging out here at Walmart, just wasting time. I've been taking a nap right there on the pavement. And uh, we're just going to go roll around. There's a uh, park center uh, just like a half mile down the road over here. We're going to check them out, see if they've got any space available. If they do, we might stay there. Otherwise, we're uh, eyeing the side of the Walmart parking lot over here, or maybe you know, a little bit back the other way. Uh, I think we're going to go over and check out Rocket Ranch. Uh, it looks like a cool place, but we can't get them to answer the phone. They're not responding to anything, so who knows if they're even available. But it's like 45 minutes back the other way, 26 miles or 28 miles or something like that. So, you know, we'll roll around, and if uh, all else fails, then we're going to end up uh, stealth camping uh, or bandit camping in the Walmart parking lot again. Ugh. Wouldn't be our first, won't be our last. We're back on the Cannonball Run. <laughs> Training wheeling uh, scooters on gravel. Oh shit, yeah, and it, it, be careful when it starts to wash sideways, it really, it pushes, it plows pretty good. This is deep, soft stuff. And the front tires don't like it. Josh is probably doing fine on those fatter tires. This wheel rut's good here. Just be careful as it starts to plow because it really does push sideways and doesn't want to come back. And the wind blowing on us with <laughs> 35 miles an hour is no help. Is this it? Yeah, this is, nope, this is Palomite something. Palomito Ranch. So how much further do we go? How far? Seven miles of this shit? Oh my God. Oh, well, seven minutes still. So. Two miles, okay. Yeah, that's plenty enough. Okay, we'll make it. If the wind doesn't just lop us over. Yeah, well, if the wind doesn't lop us over on our side. Ah, this is terrible, man. Look at this shit. Ah, I, uh, It's just terrible, man. It's horrible. If you go faster, you can get past the oscillation point, but then you have zero traction. I mean, zero traction. Like, I'm barely keeping the thing pointed in one direction as it is. Okay, is this us? Rocket Ranch, here it is. We should take pictures here before we even go in. Ugh. Oh, good. You gonna make it? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Training wheeling. Those are just the outriggers, right? Those are those are gravel pontoons. Was it squirreling all over for you? It's real bad with these tires. They're cutting in and it, it tries to go 45 degrees. <laughs> Some authentic Mexican. Lots of tents. Hey, this is the office here. So just go in and ask him if we can pull up a piece of dirt. Hey everybody, well, welcome to our uh, 
Monday afternoon on the Rio Grande River. We're set up here on the river <laughs> at, uh, what is it, Rocket Ranch. And uh, I've got my tent over here drying out because it was really, really wet this morning. And Josh just set his up. He's going to take a little nap in the shade. Uh, if I want shade, I'm going to have to move mine because the sun is tracking the other way. Uh, anywho, that's Mexico. Other side of the river right there, or halfway through the river, is uh, the Mexico side. And it looks like they've got a uh, little resort stuff there. Not sure what it is. They've got, you know, little pavilions and it looks like a uh, you know, little vacation house kind of stuff. I don't know if that's state run or private or what that is, but yeah, anyway. There's Mexico. So we're going to be sleeping right here on the river tonight, and uh, it's very, very breezy out here. Uh, wind is running steady at about, oh, I don't know, 15 to 20 with gusts up to 30 or so. It's uh, quite windy. It's a neat little uh, community out here. A lot of Tesla and SpaceX fans, and uh, uh, yeah, this is, this is really cool. It's got quite a large property out here. Uh, getting to it is a bit tricky. It was uh, not fun uh, getting down the gravel roads on these bikes. Uh, I thought that Josh would be doing better with the uh, wide tires, uh, but he said he was slipping and sliding and just barely able to keep it upright as well. Uh, Adrian and I had a heck of a time on the scooters, uh, 10 miles an hour maybe, and uh, the front wheel is slipping out of place. So Here's me. Here's the scoots. Here's the Rio Grande. Check, check, radio, check. We are on the air. Okay, um, yeah, we'll go out this way. All right, so we're headed out for dinner. Uh, there's a Mexican restaurant about 10 miles away, but uh, the gravel road getting in and out of here sucks, and the place closes at uh, 8, and it's 7 o'clock right now, so it's going to take us probably 30 minutes to get there and then uh, 30 minutes to eat so coming back in the dark is gonna suck because it will be dark so we're gonna be traversing this uh, treacherous gravel road in is the dark no good but we unloaded the bikes we took the luggage and all the extra weight off so hopefully uh, it's not quite as bad these tires just don't have any grip and it's gravel. They sink and plow. And not as bad as the Super Cubs, but <laughs> not a lot better either. Yeah, Adrian, I'd say these things do markedly better than the Cubs on this uh, this gravel, but not not great. No kidding, man. I mean, how did we not eat shit on those bikes? I mean, we did 10,000 miles around the whole country on terrible roads, and we never dropped them. And those trailers on the back were not our friends. <laughs> they were absolutely not our friends. No, oh, man, they were... It was a tail wagging the dog the whole damn trip. Well, at least on the gravel roads. On the pavement, it was great. I could ride uh, hands-free most of the time on the highway, and it seemed like the trailer actually made the bike more stable. But on the dirt, uh -uh. there was no going straight. It was always fishtailing somewhere. And now we can't see shit. Ah, ah the visor's even dirtier. Damn. Hey, stay upright, dang you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, come on, throw a few more variables at me. This is too easy. I have some friggin' deer jump across in front of us in a minute. <laughs> All right, so we're heading out after uh, eating at a really good little Mexican restaurant, and uh, we got there late. Uh, they were closing uh, within like 20 minutes of when we arrived. And uh, they said, you know, the kitchen's closing soon. We can serve you, but you got to order now. <laughs> so we did. We just said, what's your best uh, plate? And she said, uh, 
the uh, was it the beef bistec uh, dinner, and uh, that's what we got. So we got three of those and pounded it down in record time. They got it out to us immediately, like within three minutes, four minutes, and uh, we just shoveled it down our faces and got out of there in 20 minutes. So pretty cool. So now we're really full, and these bumps really hurt now. And uh, we've got to go navigate that terrible gravel road going back to uh, Rocket Ranch, which is not going to be fun. But hopefully we'll survive it. So we're still undecided. Oh, Jesus, this road's bad. Uh, we're still undecided if we're going to stay through the whole week here, uh, waiting for uh, the next launch window. It looks like it will not be Wednesday, it's gonna be Thursday. Uh, but whether it launches on Thursday or not, we're, we gotta get out of here on Thursday. So uh, hopefully that'll happen Thursday morning and then we just hit the road, so we'll see. Ugh. We invited Neil to join us, but he couldn't make it. Uh, he said that he's just beat up after his uh, Missouri trip. Uh, he said the weather was not kind to him, and uh, he's, he doesn't really feel up to pounding out a thousand plus mile trip to get down here to where we are, so totally understand. Ugh, man, these roads are bad. Ugh, <laughs> kidney killer with full belly. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Okay, here comes the training wheel fun. Ugh. Slip sliding away. Ugh, this is rough. Oh, this is rough. Boo. Especially with a full belly. Yikes. Adrian's doing good though. He's cooking along on it this time. He was running uh, like 15 before, now we're doing 25 plus. He's doing good. <laughs> Eating his dust though. I can feel it in my teeth. Josh is <laughs> doing the same thing I am. Got our, uh, our feet down as uh, skis, outriggers, just in case the bike wants to push sideways. Drag a foot, dab a foot, keep it upright. And I gotta maneuver over here and not lose control of it. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, this is awful. And I've got to ride this track because of that truck. Oh Jesus, this is bad news. Ugh. Uh, I don't think this has been graded in five months, maybe years. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we have arrived. All right, well, good morning, all. Waking up on the Rio Grande. Josh is uh, still sacked out over there. Adrian was sleeping in a hammock last night. I'm in my tent, and uh, now he's over here cooking up coffee this morning. Boiling up some water and uh, doing a, a different routine. Putting it down through a a regular paper filter in a funnel into our pot instead of cooking it in the pot. He's going to see how much easier or cleaner this is this time. Experiment, see how it works. Normally we just do cowboy coffee and boil it right there in the pot and then pour it into our cups. So. Anywho, it's 
uh, very nice out here. It's been breezy all night, so it was uh, easy to sleep. It's about 72 degrees or something like that. So yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. We've been looking at this property across the river and uh, it looks like a farm or a ranch or something like that. Got a little farmhouse right over there. See if I can zoom it up. I haven't seen any people, uh, so it's either abandoned or uh, just nobody's home. But they've got uh, a barn with some tractors and stuff over there. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the phone still in the wind. And uh, over here in this section, with all these white striped trees, uh, it's fenced off. And one of the guys said that uh, they saw a bunch of horses out there yesterday, just running around having fun. So, anyway, it's beautiful out here. Quiet. We're just uh, chilling out this morning. It's going to be a slow day, doing a whole lot of nothing. Uh, if we decide to stay for a couple more days, then uh, this is going to be the routine. Uh, if we decide to pack up and leave and not wait for the launch that might happen Thursday or Friday now, uh, then we might get out of here later today. We don't know. We'll figure it out. We got Border Patrol out here. Let's see if it's. Let's see if it's uh, U.S. or Mexico. Citizens! Yeah, it's Mexico. Nah. That's the Mexico side. Big Daddy on the back. Yep. Got the guns on there. Yeah. Because there's a dock over here with another boat on it. Yeah, they're, they're center of the river, just a little left, so that's the Mexico side. Does it? Oh, they're on, they're on the Mexico side of things. All right, everybody. Well, welcome to our, uh, what is the Tuesday in progress? Tuesday or Wednesday? Hell, I can't remember what day. It's the next day. Uh, we are headed into... Uh, South Padre Island, going over the bridge here, and we're gonna go eat at uh, Gabriella's uh, Italian restaurant or something like that. So, up and over the bridge we go. It's been raining on us today, off and on. The radar said that the weather blew out, uh, but as soon as we got on the road, it started raining on us again. So, we're wet and drying out now. The power dry routine. Man, let me tell you, it is windy today. Good God. Wind advisory uh, for the Space uh, X launch. I don't think they're going to be able to take off in it because it's high 20s, low 30s uh, tomorrow, I think, is the forecast. So definitely won't be tomorrow. We're looking at Thursday launch. So we'll stay through Thursday. If it doesn't take off on Thursday and they have to push till Friday, then uh, we're, we'll have to scrub and let them do their thing. i got to get back into town, get to some work that's waiting on me. But anyway, here is the, uh, here's the bay, in the Gulf of Mexico.
Welcome to South Padre Island, Texas. Adrian is navigating us. He plugged it into his phone, so he's the uh, dedicated or designated navigator. There's a Russo's Pizzeria over there. How far is the restaurant? Point one. Okay, so it's right here. Right here, left here, somewhere here. What was the name? Gabriella's or something? Yeah, right there on the right. Yep. Nope. Gabriella's right there on the right. I see it. Red sign. All right. We have arrived. It's dinner time. Well, lunch and dinner. Ugh. Okay. Well, we finished uh, here at uh, Gabriella's. P the food was really good. We had pizza. Uh, service was a little substandard, in my opinion. Sat there for 20 minutes before we even got a drink order, which I thought was a little odd. But, uh, food was good. Uh, and now we're going to ride uh, kind of to the end of the island and figure out uh, where we're going. Yeah, I think so. Just keep going. And it just dead ends pretty much right into the beach, if I remember right. But it's been 30 years since I've been here. I'm trying to remember. I think we bought beach passes. Uh, it's like... I don't know, 10 bucks a vehicle or something like that. And we just drove out on the beach and set up our tents. Camped out here for a few days. Bringing back some memories that I used to come out here once or twice a year. It's been a long time I'm trying to think. I, the last time I came out here was 93, 92, 93. So it's been right at 30 years. Yep, 30 years. Yeah, out here it says that I just, we passed a sign that says driving on the dunes is prohibited, but driving on the beach is not. So I guess they just don't want you dune crawling. Road ends in a thousand feet, and the sign is buried in the damn sand dune. I don't remember the road ending so abruptly. It seemed like before uh, it kind of, it curved off to the left up here and you just drove onto the sand. So, huh, it's different. Road closed, okay. It says driving on the dunes is prohibited, violation, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you used to be able to drive out here. So, huh, they've changed the rules in 30 years. Off we go. Roll it. All right, we'll get there just before dark. Sand in the face. 